Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading for Aquarius for January 2019. Um, the energy starting the reading today is the Chariot and the Hanged Man. So I feel like Aquarius, um, perhaps you're feeling a strong desire to make a change or make a decision about something in your life, but at the same time being really hesitant to make that decision. So feeling kind of stuck in limbo about something that you really want some change in. Um, and the next two cards out just kind of confirm that temperance and the four of cups. I feel like you're really weighing your options. You're really being deliberate and making sure that you're making the right decision. Um, you know, you're, you're surveying all that, all of your options. There's, you know, the three of cups in front of you, but there's, there's this other thing that's nagging at you. followed by the death card. So um, massive transformation, you know, with the, the chariot and the, the death card bracketing these uh, this energy of hesitance and deliberance. So I think that there's definitely change coming. Um, you feel it coming, you want it to come, but I feel this real hesitance on your part to make sure that you're um, going about it the right way or um, that, you know, for some reason there's, you're really reluctant. There's something that's, that's holding you back from movement. And then the next cards out were the Queen of Swords and the Three of Swords. I feel like, um, you know, you, you know what you want to do. You have this clarity about wanting to uh, maybe cut somebody out of your life. Maybe you're wanting to end a relationship that you're in, but you're, you're reluctant to do it. I think that that you know that making this decision is going to cause a lot of pain for the others involved or the other person involved. Um, I did notice though that there, you know, the next card out is the Three of Cups and you got the Three of Swords and the Four of Cups here with the, with the Three Cups in the front. So there's definitely this repeating number of three, three, three. There's something, there's something going on here. I'm not necessarily seeing it as um you know a relationship with a third party i'm feeling it more like um that it could be um a family maybe there's a child involved maybe that's what all of the reluctance and hesitancy is about is because um there is a third party that will be strongly affected by this decision that you're wanting to make of course um if you're leaving a partner behind you know and here here you can see it here as well um, in the death card, you know, there's a mother and a child and a man here who has received the worst of the, the death blow here. And perhaps this is the Hierophant. So maybe this is, um, you know, the dissolving of a marriage. Um, perhaps you're trying to decide whether you and your child should leave this situation. Um, and I think maybe, maybe that's what's causing the reluctance. I mean, it's a huge, huge decision, of course. You know, here again, the Four of Swords with the, you know, major consideration here about, you know, you're, you've gone into meditation, you're wanting to seek answers on what to do, and it's really about this this Three of, of Swords here. Six of Swords. It seems like, you know, there's a really strong possibility that you are going to make the choice to move on. Followed by the Nine of Swords. It's obviously a, an extremely difficult decision for you. So I was asking more about why exactly, um, what is it that you're wanting to leave, why you're wanting to leave. Um, and I got this Queen of Wands and the Emperor. I see this as perhaps you and your partner. As you can see, the emperor is turned towards the queen of wands, but she is, she's not facing him. She's, you know, they're not, they're not facing each other. She's turned slightly away. So this is perhaps you're, you're beginning to separate from this person. The nine of cups and the moon. I think that perhaps, um, where this connection may have started as, you know, you thought it was like wish fulfillment. You thought it was everything that you wanted. 
but um, it hasn't completely turned out the way you expected for some reason. The moon is, is suggesting that there may have been just a, you know, a disappointment of, you know, an illusion, some sort of an illusion coming to, to light. Like perhaps what you thought you were getting, you thought you were getting into the Nine of Cups, it just wasn't quite exactly um, what you expected. And I always look at these two animals here with the divide in between them. I think that there's just um, this, and that could be the other reason why you're, you're really struggling with this decision, whether or not there's a, there's a third element here that you're needing to consider. I think that maybe, um, you know, you, you guys seem like you're, you're well matched. Your energies seem to go together nicely. Um, you kind of mirror each other, but for some reason, it's just not sitting right with you and you're maybe you're not completely sure what it is or why it is that there's something, just something nagging at you that you're not 100% sure why. And so you're really reluctant to, although you're feeling a real drive to, to do something, you're feeling uncomfortable. You're feeling really uncomfortable. Um, you're just not moving because you're not completely sure what the reason is for your discomfort, perhaps. Um, so, and then the, the bottom of the deck was the Empress. And you can see there at the, you know, with, with the Empress, she, you know, although it's, it's the couple, the Emperor and the Empress, she has completely turned her back on him. So, um, I think the advice uh, here is that perhaps before you make a major move that you're clearly, your intuition is telling you that there's some hesitancy about, uh, you don't have complete clarity about it, or there's something holding you there, although there is also something pulling you away. Perhaps the best thing to do would be to at least have a conversation, um, to bring it all out into the open. Um, you know, by having a conversation, you may see, you may, you may actually reconcile, it may end, end up working out. So let's pull a card. Let's see what happens if you, if you sit with this emperor and have a conversation. What happens if these two sit and openly talk about the reluctance or the hesitancy in this relationship? comes to light or what is the result of that conversation. Of course, this is why I don't shuffle on camera most of the time because it's just sometimes it can take a while for a card to jump. And I never like to force it. I like to just allow the cards to move when they're going to move. So sometimes I can spend quite a while getting a spread out. What happens if this conversation happens between this couple here? strength and judgment. I think if you have the, the strength to have this conversation, you're going to find that the energy gets completely cleared out and lifted up to a higher level. I think that's absolutely the way to go at this point is just to be open, have the courage, have the strength to just show your cards, open your heart, be up front, even if it's difficult to say that you're hesitant and you don't know why, that's always hard to say something is bothering me about this and I don't know what it is. But if you do, I think that you're gonna find that the, the whole situation may get elevated to 
to a new level and uh, you might come into absolute clarity about that. So perhaps the hesitation is, is for a reason. You, there's just something that needs to come to the surface. So I wish you luck with that. Thank you.